You can show by hand. No one? Online? <laughs> okay. Then it's good you're here. You can hear about what we are doing. <laughs> And then um, re-strategize, add, add some to your, you know, program plans for next year. And let's see your rich culture from your respective countries. So, yes, we're glad you're here. So, the Wiki Loves Folklore um, started um, by recognition of Wiki Loves Love, basically to celebrate um, events that is related to love activities, anything that makes anyone excited, anything that brings families together, union, etc. And uh, in 2020, we changed the name to Folklore because the Wiki Loves Love was quite restricted to a um, uh, few artifacts or things. But the folklore aspect um, kind of like has more expansion and more scope than the love aspect. And we realized that um, there are diverse of festivals, diverse cultures happening everywhere, which is linked to togetherness, linked to love, linked to um, unity. So the name changed in 2020 as Wiki Loves Folklore. And yes, it's an international um, photographic competition where we get images onto commons images relating to tangible and intangible heritage, image relating to your culture, image relating to the food, um, dance, drink, anything that represents your culture. And that is the beauty of it because we're able to see what's happening in Nepal, we're able to see what's happening in Mexico, Uruguay, amongst others. And this alone helps us to be able to channel all efforts onto the Wikimedia plat Wikipedia platform, that is to improve upon um, missing images that are not there, exactly what the Wikipedia pages wanting photos also does, able to link these photos that we have put on commons to respective articles. And we've been doing this with a lot of um, local members as well as affiliates. So as I emphasize, the, the focus of the theme has to do with culture, region, dance, music, instruments, festivals, rituals, activities, games, cuisine, folkware, tradition, and tales, stories. So this actually allows us or gives room for us to have um, most of the documentation done via audio because um, some of the people you may meet who are probably practicing a particular tradition have um, very um, have his history of it in an oral form, but not like written or documented anywhere. So we would love to also have the audios covered as well as the type of music that are being played, which is not even known anywhere, but is practiced when probably there's a particular festival happening, you can record those videos and audios and then share as well. All these run as part of the competition. And our campaign is scheduled for first of every um, February, every year, from the 1st of February to the 31st of March. So um, even as you embark on your journey home or anywhere, if there's any occasion that has to do with folk activities, you can start taking your images, you can um, gather them, and then you can try to upload it within the window of the campaign. We have wonderful prizes where we channel it into vouchers or your preference. So we have awards given at the international level, and we also encourage organizers to um, organize event and awards on the local level as well, so as to increase the participation, the interest, etc. And then if your country is fortunate to um, have 
that dual um, award opportunity, then that's great. We usually also send postcards, certificates, and we give um, the top uploaders also, we give some categories because we realize that we don't, we have, it's not always um, ideal to just give like the top three, but then there are some people who also put some efforts, although their pictures or videos, they did not cut through the first three positions. So now this is where I need you to kindly take notes. As um, an incoming contributor or participant for 2024, we'll be, happy, we'll be happy to have you note all these requirements down so that you can communicate it effectively with your um, respective communities. And uh, before I go into this, I wanted to um, clarify that there's been a lot of discussion on what folklore means in different countries. Probably it's not called folklore in your country. In um, Spain, they have celebrations and activities as such called the Fales, F-A-L-L-E-S. And um, it's it actually similar to what is being done anywhere. India has a lot of activities regarding folklore and they also term it as folklore. So um, after these sessions, we will get in touch with everybody to find out what this means in your country so that if you would have to communicate it as such to your community to let them know that, um, oh, okay. <laughs> if, <laughs> so I realized something got dark. <laughs> so if, 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 this is, if there's something that, um, there's a name that, helps you resonate well with your community for them to have that interest to participate. Then we can have Wikilove's folklore under the theme or under the sub name, whatever is being you know, described in your community. So the Fales group would have Wikilove's folklore, but then it's, the emphasis is on the fact that it's related to Fales so that it it's communicates with the respective community and it attracts them to participate because that name has different meanings and it's, it, I mean, it's been quite a struggle for people to understand if they should participate or not. So it's important for us to um, ensure that we are logged into Wikimedia Commons, likewise your community. It's important to ensure that the images are using the right upload link on the project page because sometimes people start their campaign and because they don't have the project, project pages, it's difficult for us to like track um, the images that were gathered within that period. And then the template is gonna be Wikilas Folklore 2024 and the category is gonna be images from Wikilas Folklore 2024 on Wikimedia Commons. We also have to ensure that your community is well abreast with the types of licensing that is being attached to it because um, irrespective of how good your photo may look, if it does not fit in the right um, category or licensing, it's gonna be a problem and you are not going to cut through to the final round of um, selection. And then most importantly, the image should be under the Wikimedia Commons project scope because um, yesterday we were talking about the um, UNESCO, you know, rules and guidelines that um, we have to, you know, take particular attention on. And we realized that most of these Wikilabs activities or campaigns, there is a project scope that has been defined. But then when you are going through the images, you realize that whatever is supposed to be put in there. So for example, if we're supposed to see um, images of buildings, then all of a sudden we see images of food, which is not part of the campaign. But Wikilas Folklore has a broad range of um, theme, that is the food, the cuisine, the dance, etc. Just try and make sure that it falls within that category. When you do this, you're going to help um, both the organizers, both the jury members to have a very smooth 
transition to give the great results at the right time. And you are not going to also burden um, the organizers by cleaning up the things that could have been prevented. So it's a very important that if you want to start this campaign, you communicate effectively to your communities or respective individuals who are interested to ensure that their images fall in line with the scope of the project. And some of the checklists too that we love to share is that um, you have to know that copyrighted images are not uploaded during the contest. Images preferred, um, preferred with the, we prefer images with the EXIF data. Images must be properly categorized as we have shared. Images must not have any watermark. The images must not be excessively processed and digitally altered. Pornographic and explicit images are not appreciated. But like I said, yes, that, that is quite funny. But like I said, um, it, the, the word folklore means differently to different cultures. So for some people, it's an act. It's an act. So they will feel like, okay, this is what we do. But in as much as that, will, that is what you do, it doesn't fall in place with what we accept. And then, like I mentioned, the, the image must not be out of scope. We're also glad to share that over the period of five years, all the green marks shows that these countries individuals have participated is not the user community or the, in the, the user group. It, they are individuals who are around the world. So looking at your respective countries, if you haven't run the campaign, we're happy to share with you that there are individuals in your country who are actually participating in the campaign. So they are waiting for their community leaders to open up the floor and engage them so that they can also have some national awards for the amazing photos they've been, they've been sharing. So if your country is part here, I think you can clap for yourself. <laughs> and then note that there is more room for improvement. There are only very few countries that have not ever participated. Very, very few. We have Greenland, we have Libya, and a few others. So this aspect of our presentation has to do with um, the linkage that we have with the feminist aspect of the campaign. Because when you look at the, um, the format of Wikilabs, like folklore activities in various countries, there are a lot of women who actually participate in these activities. There are a lot of women who write the fairy tales, there are a lot of women who um, actually have like they, they sing, they have the music background, they make cuisines, etc. But they are still not known. And for this reason, we decided to have the feminism and folklore, which looks at gathering all these um, women together, getting their knowledge, and then trying as much as possible to put them on Wikipedia as well. So we're taking photos of these heritage and non-heritage sites, as well as the individuals who are making creative designs and folk activities which are not seen. So it's more like a two-in-one contest, and that means that it also has two-in-one awards. <laughs> so if you're very much interested in the feminism aspect, you can actually choose where you want to participate. If you think your country um, has much interest in writing about women or um, linking images to respective women's pages which are not yet on Wikipedia, you can also delve here. And if you think that your community is very interested in the photography as well as the writing aspect, you can also um, add this as well. And we'll be very happy to um, engage with you if you have any questions, if you have any um, challenges because we have had interactions with people and they have shared some challenges and also some um, uh, wrong perceptions that they had about how the campaign is run, etc. We'll be happy to um, answer those questions and bring you on board. Like I said, everyone leaving this room is going to um, go out there excited to run Wikilas Folklore Stroke Feminism and Folklore 2024.
Thank you. Okay. Any questions? Mm -hmm. um, Uh, I'm George from Moldova. Uh, I saw the country, my, my country on the map as green, although I don't think anyone from Moldova uh, has ever looked at these photos to verify them. So the question is, um, what are the filters to, uh, for, uh, for, the, uh, um, for the organizers to know that the um, tradition uh, that is being displayed is not a hoax? Okay. Um, regarding the your country, like indicating that it has been there's been some representation, I would say that when we use the twofold, it we we ask people to use the category and state the country in which they are contributing from, and from that full full twofold over the period, there has been individuals who have not um, who have stated that they are from your country and participated from your country. Probably you do not know them or they do not even know about your community. This happens um, to me a lot during my time with engagements with people. You meet people and they tell you that, oh, we know about Wikimedia Commons, we know about Wikipedia, but we don't want to be associated with any group. They want to contribute on their own. So I wouldn't be surprised that there will be a number of people who are still participating, but they don't even know you exist. So that is why we want to encourage more advocacy, more media, more communication with people, so that we get those people on board as well. So, yeah. I think, Tyvon, yeah, answer uh, the other question. The question was about more about the uh, uh, verification of validity of those. Yes, he's going to answer that one. verification of the images to ensure that they are not a hoax. The images fall within the category. Okay. The so, theme. Uh, every image that is uploaded every image that is uploaded during the Wikilaw's folklore campaign, it has, the upload wizard has a drop down wherein uh, the user can select the country from where they have uploaded or clicked the photograph of. That uh, drop down automatically categorizes uh, those images as per the country. So it can be images from Wikilaw's folklore in Armenia. No. It can be images from Wikilaw's folklore in India. So all these images get, uh, can say, categorized automatically via the uh, upload wizard. And once this is done, the jury process are both. They are even local juries as well as there is an international jury. So in the international jury, these all the images that are irrespective of the can say the country, we we evaluate every image, and if it is a national edition, they select and uh, evaluate image of the same country. So that's the reason we are asking for more national participation of Wikilaw's folklore, so that we can have jury at the local level and prizes also at the local level which can encourage users to uh, upload the local culture from their country. Okay. Okay, so um, about the, the image aspect. So uh, the jury team are also informed about the, the type of images that we are looking out for. And then they review and check if, um, the, like I was saying, that the, uh, the image has been properly pro probably, um, sorry, properly um, categorized. And then they also have to check the quality and then they also have to check if there are any trademarks. Because like you said, well, it could be a, a hose, but it will be somehow difficult. But this is a good suggestion or good question that you're bringing on board that we would have to consider. But when it comes to scrutinizing every images that have been um, presented, we make sure that they fall within that category. If they don't, they don't make it through this, the, ne the next stage. Any more questions? I don't know if it's time. Is it time? Okay, if you don't have any question, I want to ask a question. Who is excited about it next year? Oh, no. <laughs> 
You are? Okay, great. Who else? Who else is excited? At least if you want to be, uh, um, share some, you know, <laughs> information with your community, that's great. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Um, after the tea break, there's also another session here. We'll be happy to have you. Thank you.